question. What is the going thing? Answer. It's the twist. <laughs> what is the going thing? It's the baby elephant walk as recorded by Lawrence Welk. <laughs> Wrong. What is the going thing? It's saddle shoes and bobby socks. <laughs> What is the going thing? Hula hoop. <laughs> what is the going thing? <laughs> the going thing is to go. Hey! We're the going thing. We're the going thing. Here's what's happening. It's Donald O'Connor at Paramount Studios. Let the raptors ring As we do our thing With Lou Rawls at the ports of call Go! Let the going thing Tell them laugh and sing When you see us ring Artie Johnson at the Whaler's Wharf Sheldon at Knott's Berry Farm. Guess what's happening now? Here's our two blue, two blue, cause he is our own special thing. Phyllis Miller from the Briggs Cunningham Automotive Museum. Go, 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 Thing. Tonight, The Going Thing is brought to you by your local Ford dealer, who invites you to see his 1969 lineup of the biggest Fords ever. The Hot Torinos. The all-new Mustangs. They're all at your Ford dealers, the place you got to go to see what's going on. It's a going thing. Where's the place you gotta go to see what's going on? Your nearest Ford dealers. He has lots of cars, specially equipped and specially priced. Like this groovy Galaxy 500. This jazzy Mustang sports roof. This fast-stepping Fairlane. Or the economy champ Falcon. And hey, dig this special equipment. Like in the Galaxy 500, a Rimblo steering wheel, white wall tires, wheel covers, luxurious final trim, body side moldings, and even a big V8 zoomer up front at just a little extra. And you've got a specially equipped Galaxy 500, specially priced during your Ford dealer's pop option sale. Ford gives you better ideas. It's a going thing. We gotta get going. Where are we going and what are we gonna do? We're on our way to somewhere. Twelve of us and you. What do we see there? Who will be there? Will we have a lot of fun? We'll see a lot of action before this day's done. We're on our way. Pack up your pack. And if we stay, we won't come back. How can we go? We haven't got it done. But, but we're going. going. And we're going to have a happy time. Now someone said they just came back from somewhere. A friend of mine that I don't even know. He said there's lots of fun if we can get there. If that's the case, then that's the place. The place we want to go. We gotta get going, go, go, go. You better come with us, too. Cause don't you know that going's a going thing to do? What do we see there? Who will be there? That's what we'd like to know. Who knows where we're going? We need a way to go. Let's take a train. It's not too far. Let's take a plane. How about a car? Let's do our thing. Put the road on the show. Let's get going. What a lovely way to go. Let's go. Let's the call. Going 
thing. Ports a call at the Port of Los Angeles. The view of the Vincent Thomas Bridge. The view from the Portsacal restaurant. The view of the going thing, doing the seagoing thing. And make the world go away Make the world go away Get it off my shoulders Say the things you used to say And make the world go away Why make it go away Get it off my shoulders Baby, baby, say the things you used to say Song. Oh, thank you. Really. Yeah, what's thank your you. secret, Lou? I guess I just enjoy doing my own thing, you know. Everybody has something special, you know, a little something that they like to do. They're proud of it. For instance, like uh, Jackie. I bet you got something that you do special no one else can do, too. Oh, well, no. Oh, oh, come on, Jackie. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Well, there is something I do. <laughs> All right. Good evening, folks. I want to thank you, Mr. Lou. 
<laughs> Lou Moscone, yes. Thank you very much. And I just want to tell you how fine it is to have all you young entertainers here tonight. A really great bunch of youngsters. And also, I'd like to bring out someone here on this very dock. Walter Brennan. Come on! It's great to be here. <laughs> Christy Minstrels, yes, yeah. Oh, he has such wow. a good time, yes, yeah. Well, now I'd like to bring out a friend of mine from the farm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Walter. Hi, Bobby. Uh. <laughs> oh, I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> Where is Bobby? <laughs> Thank you, Jack and Tom. Say, Lou, this bit requires a very special introduction. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's John's very own thing. Uh -huh. Yeah. He does a perfect department store dummy. Hmm, how about that? <laughs> and if you'll look behind me right now, you'll see the mood is upon him right now. <laughs> oh, 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 That's beautiful. Oh, great. Look at it. Move. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, bring the dummy over here, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's really great. <laughs> Thank you, Don. Thank you, Don. How about you, Mitch? What about your thing, man? Uh, yeah, come on, Mitch. Oh, come, come on, on Mitch. Come on. Come on. Come on. I got something, but uh, I need my own special announcer. Oh, uh, all right. Wes, oh, yeah. yeah, okay. Well, you know, Mitch and I, being golfers, have often watched golf matches on television. And this is what we would like to see happen someday. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Going Thing Golf Classic. We take you now to Arnold Plummer on the third tee. <laughs> declaring the tee off. <laughs> He's addressing the ball now. <laughs> oh, great guys, great guys, right down there. Oh, I understand we have a slow motion instant replay for you. The tape is rolling now. Here he is, Arnold Plummer, preparing to address the ball. Notice that firm left side, very important. <laughs> We'll stop action for you at the top of the backswing. Notice the high hands. He's put himself in perfect position to come back into the ball. As we start action again, notice that, oh my gosh, we're taking a lot of time. My name is Julia Rinker, and I'm the world famous high fashion model, whom you've seen on the cover of such glamor periodicals as Vogue, Harper's Bazaar, and popular mechanics. <laughs> May I demonstrate for you now the epitome of poise, style, and grace? Marvelous girl, ode to Julie Brinker.
It's a going big. Get the specially priced Fairlane with these popular auctions during your Ford dealer's pop auction sale. Save on white wall tires. Save on racing mirrors. Two of them. Save on wheel covers. Save on door-to-door -door carpeting, too. And you can also save on a Fairlane with a vinyl roof. Come get them. Specially equipped, specially priced Fairlanes during your Ford Dealers Pop Auction Sale. Ford gives you better ideas. It's a going thing. The going thing, Knott's Berry Farm. Well, this is only part of it. That's the old schoolhouse. There are a zillion things to do and see here. They've got a birdcage theater. Yeah, right next to the covered wagon camp, there's a gold mine. And way over there, there's a calico square. And right here, there's a lover's quarrel. <laughs> By the time I get to Phoenix, you'll be rising. You'll find the note I left hanging on your door. You'll laugh when you read the part that says I'm leaving. Cause I left you, girl, so many times before. Give me land, lots of land, and the starry skies above. Don't you fence me in. Let me ride through the wide open country that I love. Don't fence me in. It's knowing that your door is always open and my path is free to walk. That makes me tend to leave my sleeping bag rolled up and stashed behind your couch. And it's knowing I'm not shackled by forgotten words and bonds And the ink stains in a dried upon some line That keeps you in the back roads by the rivers of my memory And keeps you ever gentle on my mind California, my way, any way
My goodness, it sure has been an exciting day here at Knott's Berry Farm. I'll say, what with a going thing waltzing around Calico Square all afternoon. That wasn't waltzing, dummy. Who are you calling dummy, dummy? Quiet. Here comes Gene Sheldon. He's my favorite performer. Mine, too. He leaves me speechless. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
going in your life. Get a specially equipped, specially priced Ford Galaxy 500 hardtop or sports roof with options like white side walls that add a dash of class, body side molding that sets you off from the crowd, wheel covers that, um, that cover your wheel, a rim blow steering wheel that steers you straight, and a vinyl trim interior that really spruces things up. And your Ford dealer's got specially priced, specially equipped Mustangs, Fairlanes, and Falcons, too. Your Ford dealer's pop option sale proves that going Ford is the going thing. Ford gives you better ideas. It's the going thing. Here they have a village in a whaler's ward. Crazy. It says here they've got 30 shops, a tobacco shop, an antique shop, and a, a B-O-U-T-I-Q-U-E. Bodicue. Great, I dig sailing. No, not that kind of bodicue. The kind where you buy stuff. Oh. They've got gourmet food, candlelight dining, and it says here it's full of romance. It says here we're out of gas. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Bring your guitar. Got it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going over to the Pirates Den. Hey, John, want to go to the Needle Nook? You're putting me on. What about it, Mitch? Want to go to the Bodie Q? Crazy. Oh. I dig sailing. No, not that kind of Bodie Q. <laughs> Welcome to our town. It's a good old town. Things haven't changed here in 40 years. Yeah. You take Priscilla and Benjamin. They're the town lovers. <laughs> a real old-fashioned couple. <laughs> yeah. said nothing changes around here. Well, maybe a few things, but you can rest assured. There's one lad who never changes. To forgive an old man a little pride, it's my grandson, Hardy. Put it in your pantry with your cupcake. It's a little secret, just the Robinson's affair. Most of all, you've got to hide it from the kids who boot at you, Mrs. Robinson. Heaven holds a place for those who pray. Robinson sort of reminds me of my mother. Oh, your mother. I'll never forget what she did at the PTA that day. I never heard about that. Oh. Oh. We want to tell you all a story about a Harper Valley widow wife Who had a teenage son who attended Harper Valley Junior High Well, the son he came home one afternoon and did he said, Mama, I know you're from the Harper Valley PTA. The notes 
said, Mrs. Johnson, you're wearing your dresses way too high. It's reported you've been drinking and running around with men and going wild. And we don't believe you ought to be a bringing up your little boy this way. And it was signed by the secretary of the body PTA. Well, it happened that the PTA was going to meet one Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> they were sure surprised when my dear mommy wore her mini skirt into the room. <laughs> and as she walked up to the platform, I could still recall the words she had to say. <laughs> she said, I'd like to address this meeting of the Harper Valley PTA. Well, there's Bobby Taylor sitting there and seven times he's asking for a date. <laughs> Mrs. Taylor seems to use an awful lot of ice whenever he's away. <laughs> Mr. Baker, can you tell us why your secretary had to leave this town? And shouldn't Widow Jones be told to keep her window shades all pulled completely down? <laughs> Now, Mr. Harper couldn't be here because he stayed too long at Kelly's ball again. <laughs> and if you smell Shirley Thompson's breath, you'll find she had a little nip of cheek. <laughs> then you have the nerve to tell me you think that as a mother I'm not fit. Well, this is just a little Peyton place, and you're all Harper Valley hypocrites. No, I wouldn't put you on because it really did it happen just this way. <laughs> the day my mama socked it to the Hopper Valley PTA. Yeah. The day his mama socked it to the Hopper Valley PTA. Hopper Valley PTA. You can get a specially equipped, specially priced Mustang sports roof or hardtop. Just loaded with Ford's most popular options. During your Ford dealer's pop option sale. With a special option package that includes... White walls and wheel covers. I suppose the wheel covers keep your tires warm. <laughs> Racing mirrors. Two of them. Two of them. I wonder which one will win. <laughs> That's why we lost, you know. Special hood scoop. And a jazzy tape stripe. You also save on specially equipped Galaxy 500s, Fairlanes and Falcons during your Ford dealer's pop option sale. Ford gives you better ideas. It's a going thing. Briggs Cunningham Automotive Museum. Over 90 cars. From the 1902 Brunel to the first Cobra built by Carroll Shelby. Now that was the going thing. Hi there, Tom Baylor at the Briggs Cunningham Automotive Museum. We've got some real sharp models here. This handsome Stutz DV32, the Super Bearcat. Notice the cut down doors and the all aluminum body. She's a beauty. Here you go, a beautiful six cylinder Pierce Arrow, a real honey. A collector's item. When you come out to see this Pierce Hero, be sure to specify the one with the occasional seat, which we really know is the mother-in-law seat. <laughs> and here we have a Packard V12 Phaeton with special body by Dietrich. Not the legs, just the body. If you have any doubts about this one, ask the man who owns one, if you can find him. <laughs> Here's the perfect car the Mercer Raceabout, for those of you who like to drive on the wrong side of the street, but not in a rainstorm. 1912, the year, not the price. 
right, here's the piece de, de resistance, the 1902 Prunel. It's two horsepower, real horses that is. And here at the wheel, the boss himself, Briggs Cunningham, champion speed racer. Say a few words, Briggs. Well, thank you very much and welcome to our museum. We're proud to show you this collection which honors an industry that has kept America the going thing for many, many years. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Briggs Riggs. <laughs> This Duesenberg is super. It belonged to Gary Cooper. Supercharged with carburetors by the pair. And the action sure is neater in this double rumble seater of this single overhead camshaft will St. Clay. Here's a beauty that'll please you. It's a sharpest bottle squeezer, and it's off the 1912 assembly line. And with Rouch and Lang's all splendor, comes equipped with leather fender. You can clean it for a measly 10 cent shine. <laughs> In this Bugatti, you can ride. If you got a sugar daddy, or you know a boy named Clyde. If this travel is your selection, then it's part of this collection. And they tell us that the frame is underslung. So come and get your Cooper Roaster, a new chassis or an Oldster. All our roller bearing engine, all the models that we mentioned have been restored so you can see them at the Briggs Cunningham Automotive And the main attraction, the oldest relic of I'm so happy that I had a lift here today because, you know, I can't drive myself because I can't get a driver's license. Goodness knows I've tried. Would you believe I got two tickets on my written test? <laughs> and I've taken so many lessons. And, and, you know, I can't learn anything because I never get the same teacher twice. And, uh, and I'll tell you why. They are yellow. <laughs> oh, they are yellow. You know, the first idiot just sat and cried. He just sobbed and screamed. And every now and then he'd ask me some stupid question like, didn't you see the stop sign coming up? <laughs> Heavens. No, he said, that's funny since your bumper pulled it out of the cement. <laughs> and the second guy, what a nut he was. He developed the worst stutter I've ever heard in my life. By the time he told me I was going to hit it, I had wiped it out. And I know I'll never see the third guy again because with him, I carried a stop sign 10 blocks. He said, why didn't you stop? I said, the sign was moving. <laughs> but there's one thing you've got to understand. I never tell men how to drive. I tried it once with Fang. <laughs> I was in the back seat strapped. And he, he's up front driving. I don't know why he still makes that idiotic noise. <laughs> Would you believe that I met my very best friend uh, by accident? We, we bumped, you know. And it was nobody's fault because neither of us was looking. And, uh, well, when I'm sure I'm going to hit something, I close my eyes. <laughs> So, so this woman, uh, we, what, that we hit, you know, so she got in my car. Well, she had to. She took her car home in her purse. <laughs> and we chatted, and we got acquainted, and we drove downtown together, and uh, we got in the worst traffic jam, the worst traffic jam I've ever seen in my life. For one hour, we never moved. So I asked her to get out and find out what was wrong. She got back in. She said, sweetie, we're in a parking lot. <laughs> Do you know that one day I sat for three hours in a car wash because I thought it was raining too hard to drive? <laughs> and you know, 
know, there's one reason that I really don't like rain because, uh... <laughs> Would you believe that my windshield wipers are on the inside of the car? <laughs> I'm a bad driver, and I know why. I can only do one thing at a time, you see. Oh, I have to pull off the road to blow the horn. <laughs> but you know, I have so much help on my car, I don't know how I ever have an accident. I have, I have a directional signal that shows I'm going straight ahead. <laughs> I really do. It's right between my training wheels. <laughs> I have three signals, left, right, straight ahead. <laughs> When I'm undecided, I turn them all on. <laughs> and then, by golly, nobody passes me. <laughs> and would you believe I have a curb finder that's 20 feet long? <laughs> if I get that close, I'm parked. <laughs> Last week, some idiot parked and my curb finder was hung up for two hours. <laughs> Happy motoring, drive carefully, and be, be sure of one thing, don't hit me. <laughs> It's a going thing. Hey now, the place you gotta go to see what's going on is your Ford dealers, where you can get a specially equipped, specially priced Falcon like this beauty during your Ford dealers pop option sale. And just dig the groovy options you get to light up your life. Like special wheel covers, wheel lip moldings, and color keyed wheels. Two tone paint. Racy tape stripe. Bright window frames. And door to door carpeting. And you've got a super groovy Falcon, loaded and priced right during your Ford dealer's big pop option sale. Hey, let's fly over there right now. Yeah, yeah. let's go. Ford gives you better ideas. It's a going thing. Well, now, here we are at Paramount Studios where movies really became the going thing. Yeah, like. Gunfight at the OK Corral. Remember that one? Sure do, partner. They shot it out right here. And the going thing in 1944 was going my way with Bing Crosby. And remember him in White Christmas? This is where it all happened. And this is where Donald O'Connor did Anything Goes. And Sing You Sinners with Bing Crosby. Yeah, and don't forget the Buster Keaton story. Yeah, he was great as Buster Keaton. I wonder if he can do Charlie Chaplin. Hey, listen, if Donald O'Connor can do a television show five times a week, he can do anything. Yes, but can he do Charlie Chaplin? Are you Donald O'Connor? Oh, yeah, that's right. You sure you're Donald O'Connor? Oh, I'm positive. You 
really are Don Lou Connor. Well, you've got me confused now. Let me take a look. <laughs> let's see here. Oh, yes, Donald with love. That's me. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. You don't look like Donald O'Connor. No, if I'm not, I certainly had a great breakfast with his wife this morning. <laughs> I like that guy. I simply have to get your autograph. Would you mind, Mr. O'Connor? Oh, sure. I'd love to. Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, I can just squeeze it in between the pop and the corn. That's my trademark. <laughs> my image. <laughs> there you are, sweetheart. Don't eat the pencil now. <laughs> there are so many questions I want to ask you, but now that I've met you, I don't know where to begin. Well, let's just sit down and we'll take it from the top. All right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's start. Wow. Well, first of all, how did you get in the pictures? Well, I was in vaudeville with a family. And uh, we were doing a benefit for the Motion Picture Relief Fund. And uh, a talent scout saw me working there. I tested uh, for the part, and uh, that's how I got the picture. As, as, a, as, a, as a matter of fact, one of my earliest pictures, uh, as, as a matter of fact, uh, one of the earliest pictures was with <laughs> Bing Crosby and uh, Fred McMurray in a, in a thing called Sing You Sinners. Of course, I, you know, I was a very young boy. You sure were great in the Buster Keaton story. I'd just love to see that again. Well, thank you, my dear. <laughs> and in, in anticipation of your fondest wish, I have here a device that'll bring that celluloid marble to your pretty little glimmers. <laughs> Take a look at it. It's all there. He's telling it like it really is. Yeah, hey, well, you know, it's a fact that the O'Connor family was very much like the Keaton family. Now, we played fairs and circuses and in vaudeville, and we did acrobats and comedy and everything like that. Right. I remember once on your television show, you did a handstand. Yeah, oh, I saw that. You were really great. Oh, thank oh, you. Hey, how about doing one for us right now? Yeah. 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 All right, well, we get arrested, you let me know. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. 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 Thank you, thank you. You know, in show business, anything goes. Now, that was a great picture. Well, well, well what picture? Anything goes with Mitzi Gaynor. Oh. I'd sure like to see that little viewer again. Well, be my guest. Here you are. Time. Mr. O'Connor, just one more question. Who is your favorite movie star? Oh, that's easy. Yeah. Hooray for Hollywood. There's lots and lots of lots in Hollywood. Where you can visit Rome and when you leave it, would you believe it? You're right next door to Paris. Oh, strictly entre nous, dear. Sentiments, I love you, dear. Je no comprehend the words that you are saying. Hey, you said, un sensation. Literal 
translation. Now I comprehend. It's called de Gaulle. <laughs> Who needs that action? There's more attraction in the wild, wild west where the cowboys roam. Oh, give us some beds for our poor aching heads. We are tired and weary and beat. I am sorry to say I am filled up to die. Try the castle like a restless street. sophisticated dual hydraulic system brakes. You may not need a car as comfortable as a Torino or as dashing, but isn't it nice to know it's all there? Ford gives you better ideas. great people today and seen a lot of groovy places. That's the going thing. Your local Ford dealer hopes you've enjoyed the going thing and invites you to see all the going things for 1969. Ford. Torino, Mustang, they're all at your Ford dealers. The 
place you've got to go to see what's going on.